level one can be kind of different for everyone. So some report these giant biomes of terrain. Other people see like huge expanses of just like grimy concrete. Um, when I had my dream and I was pretty much oscillating between level zero and level one, I was seeing level one as just like this big concrete maze of a sort, you know. I never opened my eyes, but I could tell that I was like walking on concrete. Um, and some others see the dark rooms as like blue dark room, blue concrete rooms with pipes and um, yeah going back to my experiences again um, I told you guys how I was like wandering around the physics building uh, and I kind of just I, I didn't go through a level zero so I guess I just like no clipped into what I assumed to be either level one or level two. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I really think it was level two, but given the description of the concrete with the pipes, it could have been level one. But I think it was level two. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But those are just what happened to me. You know, um, so on level one, beings lurk at or above level one. Um, these can include entities such as dollars, adult face links, hounds, and skin stealers. Um, like I said, if you guys want to do another video going into all of the different entities and what levels that they're on, I could do that, but it's going to be like later on down the line. Also, on level one, you would likely notice a flickering lights, and these lights will eventually go out. They could go out for minutes or even hours. Um, this level becomes very dangerous when the lights are out. It seems like the entities intensify in the dark. Um, so yeah, leaving level one. Um, the ways to leave level one is just to uh, continue exploring the back room. And they'll usually lead back to level zero or a level one in my dream as I was my eyes were closed so it was as if I was wandering through level one I kept going back to level zero so I don't know I'm happy that I did not go to level two but you can just keep getting pushed back to level zero and not really move forward to level two um, so, moving on to level two, which is Pipe Dreams. Um, that's like its moniker. So, this level consists of pitch black long hallways with flickering lights and long pipes running across the wall. I really feel like I was on level two. When I was wandering in the physics building and I got lost. Um, I'm not sure how I got past level zero and one, but you guys like the pictures that they show, I've been there. I don't know, I just kind of no clipped to level two somehow. Um, on this level, interactions with entities are extremely dangerous um if you encounter any entities on the level two your best bet is to just run and hope that they eventually lose interest in chasing you um and also on this level complete blackouts are common and as i said before the beings are more active and more dangerous when there is completely no lights. Um, 
So hopefully, if you ever find yourself on this level, you have your phone for a flashlight or something. Um, how to leave level two? Well, in order to leave level two, you have to find unlocked doors, and going through them will lead you to levels three or four. Or you can just wander back to level one. Within my personal experience, how I got out of level two, I just wandered back. But I didn't go to level one. Like, I went back to reality, you know. I realized, like, I was lost and I didn't know where I was. And I had never seen those hallways before. So, I'm a person with, like, great navigation skills in my head. So, I just kind of, like, turned around and walked back the way I came. Like, I was like, I, I know I made a few turns. I'll just go back and make the turns again until I get to a hallway that looks familiar to me. Um, so, yeah. Outside of that, these are the only places where I've had experiences um and I would say like in no way did I like try to seek out these experiences or did I try to find the back rooms as I explained in my first video like I didn't even know what this was it was just something really weird and unexplained that happened to me that I kind of just brushed under the rug until I saw that TikTok video and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is crazy. This makes so much sense. So, yeah, that's that. So, moving on to level three, which is known as the electrical station. Level 3 is also the most dangerous level of the whole, the main 9. Because there are 9 main levels to the back room, but there are ultimately infinite levels of the back rooms. The more and more people explore, the further they can get. But, um, there are 9 main levels that most people know about and that some have encountered. So, um, level three, it is a level that is difficult to survive. It is unsafe and insecure, and it has a medium entity count. Um, on level three, there are random valuable objects such as lighters to provide light and weapons they also state that this is where the wi-fi is the strongest um on many of the levels there's no signal on your phone personally i i'm not someone who's super attached to their phone so when okay well i experienced level zero and level one while dreaming so there was no phone but when I experienced level two, I never thought like, pull out your phone and try to call someone or look so it, like, I don't know, I'm not a phony person. So it, I never tried to see if I had cell reception or not. But I think it's interesting that on most of the levels, there is no cell reception. Yet on the most dangerous level, that's where there's like the best cell reception. It's crazy. Um, it is consisting of smaller tunnels that are very much more claustrophobic than the rest of the levels. Um, there are a plethora of entities that live on level three. This includes hounds, facelings, insanities, female death moths, stalkers, even more, the list was going on and on, you guys, um, it 
is recommended to avoid level 3 if possible. And if you want to explore level 3, say to get you some useful items such as lighters and weapons or whatever, um, get them and then leave quickly as you can. Staying too long on this level just results in one of three unfortunate fates. The first, you could become insane within two to three days. The second, you could commit suicide around 72 hours. And the third, you could simply be killed by an unknown being on that level. Um, I wouldn't try to play around with it. I would just, I would not, I don't want to visit any more back rooms at all. But if I were to find myself in a situation where I was in the back rooms and I was somehow on level three, I'm gonna get what I need, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get up out of there. I'm not gonna test the waters because yeah, this is the most dangerous level. Um, the only way to leave is through elevators, which most often take you to level five and very rarely take you to level which brings us to level four, which is the office. Um, it resembles an empty office building that has like absolutely no furniture. Um, some rooms have windows. Most of the windows are blacked out. If you find a window that is not blacked out, it is considered a trap and it should be avoided at all cost. Um, in general, there's a low amount of beings on this level. There's really only hounds and facelings. Um, it's also said that like there's food and resources, water on this level. As I kind of stated in the beginning, there are different groups of people that reside on the different levels and level four is where you'll most likely find a group of human beings you know um in terms of exiting level four you can exit through office like stairways which leads to either level five or level six or you can occasionally take an elevator but that will take you back to level three so yeah you guys that is the first few levels levels zero through four of the back rooms pretty crazy stuff um yeah have any of you ever been to the back rooms like any of you have tell me your experience i want to know your experience because i don't know if it was similar to mine if it was different i never experienced any entities because i just think i was never there long enough to come across any and i have pretty good intuition so even though i didn't know i was in the back rooms i didn't know what was going on i knew that something didn't feel right I just had to find my way back out of it. So yeah, the next video that I do for creepy conspiracies will be the rest of the levels of the back rooms. And then after that, I will be on to our new and next creepier conspiracy. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from